Immersion, immersion, immersion. This is the magic word used to describe Skyrim mods which absorb you into the game and make you completely forget about the real world. And today we're looking at 10 of them, all which have been handpicked and are new or <laughs> somewhat new and deserve a shout out. Without further ado, let's begin with a couple of mods that immerse us in the cities and towns of Skyrim. We'll begin our incredibly immersive journey today in Riften, where we... Oh, you're already here? Uh, what am I doing, you ask? Yes, I know, this looks weird or bad, but it isn't what you think, I promise. Actually, this is our first mod today, the Peeping Tom Simulator of Skyrim, or also known as Take a Peek New Stealth Mechanic. Inspired by the keyhole peeking mechanic of Dishonored games, this mod allows you to peek through nearly any door you can find in Skyrim. There are two ways to activate the action. By default, using the peeking ability spell, or alternatively, you can press the sneak button for 2 seconds to peek through a keyhole. By default, you can't move the camera much at all while peeking through a keyhole, but if that's a bit too immersive for you, you can free the camera from the mod configuration menu and have a lot more freedom in the snooping. But remember, the people of Skyrim might not appreciate your curiosity and will call you out on your discourtesy if they catch you on the act. So it's probably better to practice some discreetness if you're doing this in public or in crowded places. It's locked for a reason. This mod adds a new dimension of immersiveness to the Skyrim stealth and thieving experience and is a fun new mechanic altogether. So if you're interested in spying on your enemies or allies by chance or planning a major heist without being noticed, I warmly recommend take a peek. What are you doing that for? Aside from ants, torchbugs and butterflies, there aren't that many insects in Skyrim. So Introducing Mosquitoes of Skyrim. I'm just kidding, that's the level of immersiveness no one needs. But what we actually do have here is a mod called Nocturnal Moths. The mod is simple and effective. Moths spawn around the lanterns of Skyrim outdoors between 10pm and 4am. You can adjust the appearance rate from the mod configuration menu to your liking. The moths are, of course, fully animated and have subtle sound effects. The moths will spawn only in clear or cloudy weather, so none when it's raining, for example. And if you choose the seasonal version of the mod, the moths are only active during the early summer to autumn for some sweet seasonal immersion. As if that's not already quite immersive for a small mod like this, you can give the lanterns a whack and the moths will clear out. Just a warning, this can get quite addicting. Nocturnal Moths is a great and very cute little mod to add to your game for some added realism and detail on the game's ambience. Next, I'd like to take a minute to improve the Courier, the most hardworking and beloved postman out there. Courier Delivers to NPCs is a must-have mod for an impactful dose of immersion, because how on earth are we, the player, the only person that gets mail? The way this mod works is simple. Now there is a 15% chance of an NPC getting a letter delivered from the courier in the town you're in. You can also modify this percentage to your liking via the console if you'd like this to happen less or more frequently. This mod is actually really funny when you're used to being the only person who gets mail and then suddenly you're not the most important person in the province anymore. It's a good way of getting humbled. Courier Delivers to NPCs is such a great, no-brainer solution for this obvious immersion issue and it's also compatible with many other Courier mods. I'm using it with Dapper Deliveries here, a cute little mod which overhauls the appearance of the Courier. Especially after you can fast travel just about anywhere on the map, many of us forget about the poor carriage drivers. For them, I have a couple of incredible mods to enhance the immersion of the carriages and hopefully they make you want to use them more even later on in the game. First, we have Carriages and Stables Dialogue Bundle. This mod gives more dialogue for the carriage drivers and makes them feel more realistic as people and less like some sort of medieval taxi robots or maybe Dwemer taxi automatons? 
So in action, Carriage's Unstables dialogue bundle's main feature is making the driver speak about various topics when you walk nearby the carriage. They might call out to you for a ride. I wouldn't wander here alone at night. Come on now, my carriage is the safest way to travel. Sing to themselves or complain about the weather. I swear it rains like this every time I go to Ripton. There is also new dialogue if you're arriving in a city you haven't visited before. First time to solitude? Beautiful old city, capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already knew that. All new lines are believable and fit right in and you wouldn't even necessarily notice them being not vanilla, which I think is a sign of an excellent immersion mod. First time to Mark Arthur? Some say it was built by the dwarves. I don't believe a word of it though. Next up, we have another shining jewel of Skyrim modding, the coachman. Have you ever thought about how the drivers just sit on their seat of their carriages all day, every day, 24-7? Always available and again, quite robotic. I think pretty much every other NPC has routines to go about in their daily life and now the drivers have them too with the coachman. This mod overhauls the carriage driver AI by making them go to inns at night and, if you have a hard fire home, they will lounge in your home for the night. The drivers can now also it's hang around the carriage and not only sit on the seat at all times. Their workday spans from 8am to 10pm and that's when you can find them near the carriage and after that they will head out to the nearest inn to socialize with the townsfolk and maybe even have a drink or two. In the morning, they return to the carriage and maybe grab some well-deserved breakfast while waiting for the first customer of the day. You can also see the carriage guard in this footage, which is an optional added feature in this mod. They have the same schedule as well and of course, it's their job to keep the carriages safe. The guard is different in every city, so in Solitude he's an imperial soldier, in Markarth he's an orc warrior and so on. These two mods are major for making Skyrim world feel a bit more alive and enhances the illusion of the carriage driver NPCs being real people, and that is something that truly matters in the topic of immersion. Let's complement these mods with three other smaller carriage related mods. Let's give the carriages a facelift with detailed carriages 2.0. This mod gives a unique look to all of the horse carriages in Skyrim. Traveling by horse carriage is by no means luxurious, but this mod makes the traveling a little bit more comfortable. The added card cover shields you from the sun, and the sitting compartment is now filled with books and other things to pass the time a little bit faster. And see how the earlier moth mod works perfectly with this one as well. The title, Carriage Driver's New Clothing SE, is surely quite self-explanatory here, but I'll introduce it a bit more anyways. The mod substitutes the old farm clothes the drivers wear into standardized uniforms with four different versions of the outfit. The outfits are now fitting for the carriage locations, whether they're in a lush forest or the icy tundra. So finally, in the chilly climate of the north of Skyrim, the drivers are dressed appropriately with gloves and fur collars. This mod completes the immersion of the carriage drivers. Lively Cart Driver Animation Replacer is a simple animation mod which changes up the old stiff carriage driver animation with a livelier one. No more is the left hand glued to the carriage. Now our carriage drivers are more talkative, dressed appropriately for the weather and no longer live their whole life on the seat of the carriage. These five mods should make the horse carriages a lot more immersive and maybe make you want to use them more. Don't check out just yet, I still have two really great new, lesser known visual immersion mods to introduce that really sell the environment of the game as more realistic. Skyrim is known to be a province with major seaports and wealthy trade cities, but the scope on the ships has never been too expansive. Sure, there are many ships and shipwrecks to explore around the coastline, but for example, you can't see any ships on the horizon. Well, now you can, with a mod called Ships on the Horizon. With the mod, there are ships seen in the northern Sea of Ghosts, Raven Rock and Telmithrin sailing in the open seas. The ships have no other purpose than being purely decorative and they're super far away so you can't access them by swimming. If you think they appear to be still too close, 
there is an optional mod file available which makes them 40% smaller. The ships are also anchored or static by default, but if you install Moving Ships resource and the patch for Ships on the Horizon, they will be animated, resulting in even more of that sweet, sweet immersion. Now you can sit on the shore and watch the ships float by, or watch them from Bard's College Courtyard balcony, my favorite ship spotting spot. Our last mod in this video will also add on to the immersion of the Skyrim coastline. Whale bones on coasts, Mihal shards of immersion adds different whale skeletons on the northern shores. You see how great they look against Skyrim's rough environment, and sad as well as there are calf skeletons too. The surroundings of the whale bones are also perfect for life around them, and you might encounter yeah. monsters and mud crabs around them, as well as find small loot. I'll let the footage speak for itself, but for me, these whales leave me in awe and awake a sense of quiet appreciation. Before we end, I'd like to express my gratitude to everyone who supports me on Patreon. You ignite my passion of creating videos and push me to create even more and better content. For those who are interested in supporting the channel or maybe want to see some extra mod content, first of all, yes, it might not look like it, but we are in Skyrim. Go check out the Patreon, links in the description box. I don't know how many times I managed to say the magic word immersive in this video, but hey, who's counting? I hope you found some interesting and useful mods in here. I promise you, these were handpicked with love. My personal favorite from today was Nocturnal Moths. I'm a sucker for these sort of small things that affect the game's ambience. Let me know your favorites too. And of course, the links to the mods can be found in the description box as always. You know the drill, don't forget to press all the buttons and See ya!